All right, so let's talk about site building. On our site building workflow, the first step is the plan. If you've done any work in Drupal, you know that planning is incredibly important whenever you're building a Drupal website. We've done the planning for you in this class. I'm going to go over it just quickly to expand on what I said in the intro video, and then we're going to talk about what we need in order to do this class, because we really want you to do the work along with us. All right, the first step, what's the plan? Well, the plan is to build a tourism site for the city of Sydney. I was there a couple of years ago, so I've got some nice pictures. You can steal some from Google when you need them. We'll add fields to content types, user profiles, custom blocks, and taxonomies, because now everything is an entity in Drupal, and we can add fields to virtually anything. We'll create a content type for hotels, including links, Google Maps, phone numbers, image galleries, and videos. We'll create a taxonomy for nearby landmarks. Editors will be able to easily associate nearby landmarks to the hotels. And we'll create some advanced layouts and displays with some advanced views. We'll install a theme, and then we'll change the node layout and teaser layout using Display Suite. We'll create a custom home page using views, and along the way, we'll add a whole bunch of modules. In the beginning of the class, we're going to add a whole bunch using Drush. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on Drush in an upcoming video, and if you've never used Drush before, it's amazing. As you've probably guessed, we'll be using a number of contributed modules as well, including View Slideshow and Simple GMAPs. Here's what you need in order to do the course. You need a Drupal environment. We're going to install Drupal at a web host in the next video and get you all set up. If you already have an environment somewhere out on the internet, that's fine as well. We'll be moving fairly quickly, so you'll want to use the pause button frequently. Next, you'll need an HTML editor. We're going to actually create a simple theme in this class, and so you'll need access to the file structure of your website and a half-decent HTML editor, not Notepad, but on Windows, Notepad++, and on the Mac, maybe even Text Wrangler. Sublime works on both platforms. It's just whatever you've got. But again, not Notepad on a Windows machine. You might want to get a Lorem Ipsum generator, but that's not absolutely necessary. And you might want to get Firebug for Firefox or Inspector for Chrome or Safari so we can look at the code later on. All right, that's what we need. That's the plan. In the next videos, we'll install Drupal and get our site ready to go.